Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Dealing with the Tough Stuff. And our scripture is Paul's first letter to the Thessalonian Church, chapter 5. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, take tender care of those who are weak, be patient with everyone. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Lazy, timid, and weak, it seems Paul has begun the work of caring for the kindergarten of Christianity. And yet, who hasn't been lazy, timid, or weak? These are common ailments of character, and we humans are subject to character flaws. But notice how Paul then modulates to patience. That is the needed ingredient in caring for the weak links in character or community. One of the privileges of being a pastor to a congregation is the holy ground of trust where church members commit their problems and trials to your keeping in prayer. A pastor is told heart secrets that would scorch the paint off nursery walls and depress the most positive people. In 2005, I moved from being a Baptist pastor to the Methodist tribe. Part of that process was in cooperation with a committee charged with overseeing and encouraging me during the shift. They were kind, helpful, and encouraging to a nearly 60-year-old who had already served 25 years in pastoral ministry. However, after one session, their assessment was that I needed to wait another year before being confirmed in the process of elder status. They told me it was because, quote, you have too much sadness in your life. Well, I tried to accept their guidance graciously, but this was one time I had a tough time following Paul's admonition to be patient. Inside, I was steaming. Too much sadness? Too much sadness? I'm a pastor. People tell me all the sadness of their lives. Of course, I've got too much sadness. In retrospect, I am repentant of that inner response. I needed Paul's warnings at that point. Their assessment may have fallen short, but instead of humbly considering their earnest care for my inner peace, I bristled. I had no patience. I missed the mark by a wider margin than their assessment. In my impatience and anger, I was not, as Paul advised, thankful in all circumstances. Sometimes I think I've not grown much in the patience department. This week, I was walking in the parking lot from the gas pump to the store when a young man almost backed over me. My mother would have bristled to see the dance her youngest boy did to escape being flattened, and Dad would have had a great laugh and a story to tell his buddies. Well, I quickly and I loudly told the young driver what a 4,000-pound SUV can do to an unprotected human body and how he should look before he backs up. The young man humbly apologized to the irate old preacher, and I was immediately convicted of my inappropriate anger and impatience. As a pastor, I've taught, I've counseled, and at times prided myself on being patient. In truth, I need to sit in dust and ashes more often. After reflecting and praying about my impatience, I've decided to change my way of viewing my circumstances from reacting to proacting. Reacting is acting in response to how you're treated or how the circumstances affect you. Proactive is deciding beforehand to act in love and joyful thankfulness no matter what happens. I will look for and hopefully find God's hand of loving kindness however the circumstances unfold before me. I know this will be difficult at first, but I'm also certain the long view will see the benefit of inner peace for me and those around me and opportunities to serve God's kingdom. 
for you today. We live in a hurried, pressure-driven, and often angry world. Pray for the calming, joyful influence of patience to take the temperature down a bit. That's something we can all use. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.